where he thinks that uh, he owns this country and owns the people of Zambia. I don't eat in his mother's house, no, in his house. For him to imagine that each time I'm exiting my country, I must be cleared by himself. Each time I get to the exit point of the Republic of Zambia, I am engaged in a flood of delay because the officials apparently have to get permission to clear me to exit. Let Hakain get it in his head that I'm not his cow, I'm not his relative, he's just a worker for the people of Zambia and he has absolutely no right, no right at all to hinder my entry or exit. Please let him know that this should be his very, very last time. If he has no common sense, let sense be pumped into him that he should stop this nonsense. I'm not his party cadre. I'm not his peer. I'm not his equal. He suffers from an inferiority complex where he thinks that everybody in this country must bow to him. Let Hakainde know that when he sent his police officers to hound me out of UTH, I thought they were acting out of ignorance. When he sent his police officers to get me out of bed when I was recuperating, I still thought that this is ignorance. Each time I'm exiting, I'm faced with a challenge of whether to go or not. And to death, the staff have to call someone and say, no, bakamba tilekana ayendi. Ndine mwana wa haka inde, ndine mkazu wake, ndine mzake. Let him stop it. If he has no one to tell him, please let him stop it forthwith. Because I'm not his cow. He's abusing the state resources every week. He flies with a helicopter to his farm in Amwala to look after his cow. I am not his cow to be kept in a crow. Let him know. Let it be the very, very last time that he behaves like a person who has no compass or bearing. And I know he has no compass or bearing. Otherwise, he wouldn't do silly things like this. Because even under UNIP, I have I've lived through many governments. His is the seven. I've never experienced this kind of nonsense. I am not a convict. I am just a suspect for a case which he himself couched. So what is his problem? What is his problem? Does he really imagine that every Zambian is, is some sort of livestock for him? I am saying, let him stop it forthwith. This is the uttermost rubbish that any head of state, that calling any man calling themselves the head of state can engage themselves in. It should stop. This is like the sixth time when I'm exiting the country, I'm being held at the airport. It should stop.